spit and the horse was just, his head was just knee high. And so he'd take big bites out of my knee every time. Every time I'd try to swap the lawn, the horse would bite my knee. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was an endless circle, you know. <laughs> But Joe wrote a great song. I think it's the first song that he wrote uh, that I remember. And uh, I did put this on a real old cowboy record I did. And we'll try to do it here in the QC. I played this song for Guy Clark uh, when I got out of the circus, but I never wrote the song. I actually physically wrote it on paper. I just had it in my head and uh, played it for Guy Clark. And, and it was one of those times we stayed up all night. And, you know, about dawn, I said, man, I've got one more song. <laughs> And the guy had a little tape recorder, and, and I didn't know this, so he, and he recorded it. And then I, I went and forgot the song after, you know, that was the last time I ever played it. Was this the one in Butch's Dream? <laughs> no, 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 this, this was, uh, I actually wrote the song, played it, and then I never played it again. Fifteen years later, I'm driving down the street in Austin, Texas, and I turn on the radio. And Guy Clark is singing this song that sounds real familiar. <laughs> I know that song somewhere. And, uh, I heard this I'm before. I'm just glad that he saved it, because otherwise it would have gone <laughs>